everybody, my name is Car on Fire and welcome back to Palia. Today we'll be looking into the brand new recipes that have got added to Palia in this recent patch. So for a lot of these recipes, they're actually locked behind Ref, and we need to go and talk to Ref to actually go unlock them as he is the cooking person to be able to do this too. So we're going to go have a look in this little store. I've already bought and unlocked these, but fish taco is one of the ones you can get very early on. So fish tacos, scroll down a little bit further, we have Chapa Asda tacos, so there you go, 500 gold, and then we go a little bit further down, crab pot pie you can buy, that's a new recipe, chef pie is also one you can get as well, which is a new one because it involves corn, and then scroll a little bit further down, you have stuff phoenix fire pepper which they do predict that this stuffed tomatoes will be replaced with so you might want to get this recipe cost 2k gold very worth grabbing then they have the spicy stir fry so that's another new one that you want to grab for 2500 as well as the chili oil dumplings which is also 2500 and that is all the spicy recipes you can buy off of ref so that is what you get out of him. The rest of the recipes are currently actually bugged, so you can only use the ones on Ref at the moment as of the September the 17th, until they patch it next week, which they had said that they will be doing in their own Discord as they make a lot of announcements in there. But for now, I can show you what the other recipes require and how to make them. Coming back to the homestead, let's have a look. So these recipes can be made in the oven, so you have the pot pies, the chef pie in the oven. In the stove you will have uh, all the way at the bottom, you're going to need a double uh, cooktop for most of these, is the stuffed phoenix fire pepper dumplings and stir fry in here. So those are all advanced recipes at the bottom. And then on the prep table you can make the tacos, so you have the fish tacos and the chapa asta tacos in there as well. And there is nothing in the mixing table, so you want one oven, ideally two stove tops and two prep benches and one mixing table. We're going to start with the stove top uh, cooking recipes, we'll start with the chili oil dumpling right at the bottom. So one of the, probably the last ones you could purchase if you are leveling up your cooking still. Uh, but it takes a spice to start it off. Then it will take any red meat, any vegetable, any wheat, any rice. It will take oil. Oil is quite needed a lot in these new recipes. And it will take one spicy pepper. And then you could go ahead and bake it and hopefully you'll come back with a starred version so you can use it as decoration as well because that's always nice. Our next one is the stuffed phoenix fire pepper aka the replacement instead of the stuffed tomatoes it should be stuffed phoenix fire pepper unless they change their mind and use something else we will see. But to start off it will take an egg, flour and then the rest of it will require any red meat, two chili peppers, spice and oil. Our next one is the spicy stir fry and you can actually use some salt to start it off with. Then it will require any red meat, garlic, any vegetable, rice, oil and one chili pepper. Now if we move over to the fish tacos, it's an extremely easy recipe to make if I'm honest with you. It takes a spice to start out with, then it will take any fish and it will take one corn as well. So you can get that going and make loads of fish tacos really easily very easy recipe to make. Next one we're looking at the chapa asda tacos, so this one takes a salt to start, then it will require one chapa meat, one butter, one spice, one corn, and one onion. So it takes a bit more than the previous one and it uses meat instead, but this is another one that is quite useful to have. Our next recipes are a little bit more complex, so you can use a butter and a corn to start the crab pot pie. It's also going to take a wheat, a onion, a vegetable and any crab. In my case I only have purple crabs right now so uh, I'll be using purple crabs but you can use vampire crabs or normal crabs and there is plenty of them. Now we're going to look at the Shep pie which takes salt to start and that's all that's needed. Now the required produce is one corn, one potato, one carrot, one chapa meat, one butter and one spice. And it gives a decent amount of focus as well on this one, 325 focus. And those are pretty much the new recipes. 
Now, if we come in and have a look at them on the table, oh, wow, they look awesome. Those are all the recipes that you can currently make in the game right now. So there are seven of them there. You have the tacos, both types, you have the meat and the fish in the back. You have the pie, which is weird because the pies display themselves in saucepans, but in the uh, display format, they show up in a bowl. And then you have the stir fry, you can see the little chilies in there, the chili dumplings. That looks pretty good, I think, uh, maybe. <laughs> and you have the stuffed pepper also up here, which looks pretty cool. So there you go. And oh yeah, can't forget this, the crab pot pie, which I was expecting a crab leg to be on it because that's what shows in the picture. But no, it's uh, just a full one pie, no crab leg on top, it's all inside. But those are your little recipes on display that you can see. So I've put them all on the table, all them spicy recipes. Now for the rest of them, we're going to have to wait for Parlia devs to actually fix it before we can complete it, unfortunately, because the other three you cannot access in the game right now. So those are the ones you can make. You can buy them all from Ref. Apart from that, uh, I've looked everywhere, okay? We looked extensively on the Discord, all over the map and everywhere, and they are nowhere to be found. They have been confirmed to be bugged, so... These three, we just have to wait for, unfortunately, guys. They have also said that one of the recipes most likely will be unlocked once you complete this Sears Chef bundle, and that's when you'll be able to unlock an additional recipe. But for now, that is also bugged because you cannot complete these stuffed tomatoes in the game right now on the 17th of September until they patch it, which will probably be next week. If you're here from the future, though, hi. You probably want to check out another video in the future that will go over these uh, new free recipes that I can't include in this video because Parlia do not have them released to the public right now so you cannot access them but until then my recommendation to you is make sure to plant your chili peppers which you can buy in the Azeki shop as well as your corn seeds and start planting them and uh, well growing them and making them so you can go ahead and get yourself uh, this produce before the rest of the recipes come out so you can complete the entire achievements list. I'm going to quickly go over the focus points with you as well while we're here so you can have a look at the starred version's cost as well. Uh, for the chili oil dumplings you get 114 out of one of them. 525 focus points is really nice. For the stuffed phoenix fire pepper they cost 88 per bowl and they give you 450 focus points which is really nice again. For the spicy stir fry, 93 gold per one and 487 focus points that you are given. For the chapa as tacos, they cost 106 for a value of one and they give you 375 focus points. So that's really decent for what it takes to make those. For the normal fish tacos, 150 focus points and they give you 67 gold per one. For the Shep Pie, it gives you 135 per one and 487 focus points. And finally, the Crab Pot Pie, which will give you 159 gold per one and 375 focus points. So there you go. That is what they give you. That is their worth, and that's all in stars. So, of course, if you have normal ones to sell, it will give you a little less money. But, uh, yeah for now that's what i'm showing you that's all to show you today and i hope you found this video helpful if you did consider giving the video a like and subscribe because i have many more paleo guides on the horizon and the future so yeah thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye